how to create a checkout page on Google Sites. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a checkout page into your Google Sites and receive payments. So you are going simply to follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you are going to be good to go. Uh, to be able to set up the checkout and also the payment methods, you need one platform or multiple platform getaways that will help you to collect the money. So I'm going to give you some examples. We have PayPal, we have Stripe, and also we have SquareUp. These are the three most well-known platforms that will help you to create the virtual terminals or the virtual checkouts. So you're going simply to set up here first the Google site that you have. For the website and then we are going to proceed to the payment uh, getaways or, or here so we are going to select one of the website that we have for example we are going to select the jack shopping one and then we are going to add or set up the product first so i'm going first to add here the button or i'm going to drag it here I'm just waiting for the button, not uh, the uh, here the thing. So we are going to set up here the product description. So for the checkout page, they will not get a precise description. So I'm going simply to set up here the text. So maybe you are going to set up here the text as the alignment is going to be right. So uh, this uh, product or this oil will make your, for example, your skin glow uh, or have the glow effect, glow effect for 24 hours, for example. And we are going to set up here the point, and then we are going to set up some uh, of the features this is the first feature the second feature is going to be maybe uh, something like uh, here uh, your hair uh, or growth of the hair and we are going to set up something else like maybe uh, growth of the hair uh scalp treatment like that and we are going to set up here uh, uh it is daily for example daily use and etc so we are going to put here the points boom and now for the price Maybe you are going to modify the button and put it here, for example, as uh, 99 or 95. I'm going to put a much simpler price like that. So it's the dollar sign, or the pound sign. Okay. So for the link, we are going to set it later. Now we are going simply to set this like it, it is. And also we are not going to focus for the second product. I'm going to only let you see here the first product, how we can make and manage that. And then we are going simply to do the same for the next product. Now we are going to head over, for example, Shopify. And then we are going to set up here uh, the pay links and buttons, or you can go ahead and set up the PayPal checkout. So you are going to integrate it. And also put it right away but i highly recommend for you to not make your website go um let's say here um uh, on the uh, complicated things to set up or make your uh, website a little bit slow so we are going to program the pay links and buttons so we are going to set up here the checkout so we are going to set it as a payment link or a payment button, for example, like that. And this is it. And then we're going simply to build it. 
So you can create a product or service. So we're going to set up a product here. We're going to put rosemary oil. And then oh, you are going to put up the price, which is going to be like that. Uh, let customers buy one uh, or buy more than one at a time. Yes. The maximum quantity is going to be 99. So uh, we are going to set up here the shipping fee. We are going to use a specific fee of, for example, of uh, $20. Now we have the label notes. You can go ahead and customize the thank you page and etc. Then you are going to set it like that. This is for the uh, thank you page. Or checkout is going to be this. So you can go ahead and add the, uh, let's say here, the same properties that we have added here. Uh, now, so the uh, customers will get here everything they will know. So this is not going well, but it is okay. So we are going simply to get that one. And this is the button. So we are going to click on build it. Now we have the payment link. So you are going to copy the link directly like that. Go ahead to the website of yours into the Google Sites. Click on the button twice. And here we have the link. We're going simply to delete that link or the previous link and type in the new one of Shopify. This is the first method. You can go ahead and get a, another payment, payment link from uh, stripe by getting to the dashboard of course you need an account within the uh, all of the platforms that i have mentioned from google to the squares and then you are going simply to add over the top right there uh, create a payment link and also do the same thing so you are going to add here the product for example here i think that i have the rosemary oil right back this is uh, not the account that I am going to use, but yes, it is. I think we're going to check if I have the other one going up. So, so I have found the oil, uh, as you can see here, uh, payment link. So I have added the uh, image of it, the price of it, and also the title. So right here, we only have this. Uh, button uh, which is going to be copied and also pasted into this specific area for the difference between here the uh, stripe payments or uh, payment links and also shop five it is going to be here customizable so you are going to set up here the uh, product you are going to get this and also you can go ahead and add the description of it the quantity of it for example and etc and then you're going to add the image and etc. So go ahead and add a product here. Or we can go ahead and modify it. Let's go ahead and edit the product. You're going to see here the uh, different cases that we need to fill. Uh, here we have the name or the title, description, the image. You can go ahead and add more. Or the pricing is going to be like that. So don't forget to add the shipping cost because it is not going to be involved and etc so go ahead and add your shipping price also uh you need to set up that you or mention that you have uh, set up the price of the shipping for example you're going to edit the product and then you're going simply to set up here the price like 65 I'm going to put here uh, between parentheses sixty five dot ninety nine dollar for example plus twenty dollars for example shipping like that shipping and boom we are going to update the product so they will see here the description right there and also you are going to modify the price of it so make sure that it is 85.99 this is it so edit the price i am going to charge it here it is already set up so 
we cannot modify it you need to set it from the beginning and also for the square you are going simply to add the uh, payment links so you are going to head over the payments from all the products this is square up uh, then you are going to create the payment links and create the link and do the same from the beginning you're going to double tap on the buy button tap it right here and update and in order to add this type of buttons you're going to add or click on insert uh, drop down or scroll down a little bit until you see here a uh, button so you are going to put a name and also a link and insert it and then you can go ahead and move it wherever you want that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one